Hey guys, it's Drea. So today I wanted to rank some of my lipsticks. A lot of you have wanted me to rank all of my lipsticks. First of all, that video would be three hours long. And secondly, I have a lot of lipsticks I like, but don't love. And there would be kind of a, a very large portion that it would just be a lot of meh. So I decided, why don't I rank all my ColourPop lipsticks? My ColourPop lipsticks are my favorite formulas overall. Like even though they're not all the same formula in here, they're still pretty much my favorite lipsticks in my entire collection. So I thought, why not? It might also help somebody who is like shopping for ColourPop lipsticks as well. Um, I do have like, I, I have pretty much, I think every formula except for maybe the new, um, the new matte formula that they just launched and the glosses. I don't have any glosses, but I have like the ultra blotted lips. I have the ultra satin lips. I have the regular cream lips, luxe lift lip cream. Wow. Cream luxe lipsticks. I have the, um, velvet blur ones. So, and then I have some, a couple lippy sticks. I like to rank my makeup along with you because I don't find it fun to like just talk about my favorites. I, I like the process. So I'm gonna pull a few that I think are in like my top and then we'll start ranking and swatching. Um, Uno Moss definitely is in the top. The Rabbit is definitely in the top. I really like Still Crazy. Um, name Drop, I think I like that one a lot. Super Bloom, I like a lot. With the band, Ariel, and yeah, let's just start with those. There's definitely probably some that I think might outrank them, but we'll just start with these. Okay, so I think if I had to pick what I think is my absolute favorite, I think Uno Moss is my favorite. This is one of the regular cream luxe lipsticks. This is just like a really nice nude shade really really pretty nude um and then i really love this right here this is the rabbit it's from the ultra satin lips this color is spectacular it's this bright 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 fuchsia color um super comfortable formula as well i think i would rank it after uno moss just because uno moss i think is so much more wearable than the rabbit i'm gonna try to put them like right in frame still so you can like see how they're being ranked but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's gonna work. Maybe if I zoom out a little bit more. Um, okay. Okay, name drop. I really like this one. This is a matte. It's, it's so it's not the cream luxe. It's a matte. I don't know if it's called anything other than that. Um, I like that one quite a bit. It's not quite a pink, but it's not quite a nude. So let's put that there, but I don't think that's going to be next in line. Super Bloom, I think, definitely goes ahead of that one for me. This is a really interesting formula. It's the Velvet Blur, which is like a very powdery formula, and it almost kind of looks like they are blotted as well. This is kind of a really cool um, red pink. I'm going to put that ahead of Name Drop, but definitely not ahead of the Rabbit. Um, this is called With the Band. It's one of their lippy sticks. This is a really flattering color. Like it's kind of matte on the lips. It's very flat. There's no shine to it, but it's definitely a nude, but it's a deep nude. Um, I think I like that better than, I definitely like it better than Name Drop. I'm gonna put that ahead of uh, Super Bloom just because I know that this is much more wearable for me. I wear Super Bloom quite a bit, but you know, it's not an everyday thing. Um, Ariel is so pretty. This is from the Disney collection. This looks just like it could be almost a dupe for with the band, but not quite. Um, that's so pretty though. And I like this formula even better than the matteness of the lippy sticks. This one is still crazy. This one is definitely a mauvey pink and it's a little bit deeper of a mauvey pink very very wearable this is one of the cream luxe lipsticks from the original collection oh the packaging on these is so pretty too like the rose gold and the stars and then if you couldn't tell these bullet lipsticks all have the stars in the bullet as well which is so pretty i don't like it more than ariel but i do like it more than with the band so i'm gonna put that there 
Okay, let's grab a few more. Um, <laughs> this is Lumiere. This is the Kathleen Lights collab that's been around for a very long time. It's definitely more of a mauve pink. It's very close to this one, isn't it? Like almost a dupe color, almost. It's a little bit more of a purple undertone and it's a little bit more matte. It's not totally matte, like this is not as matte as with the band. Um, even though it says matte on it, it has a little bit of shine to it. I like this, I like the formula. I'm gonna put this right after its compatriot, which was Still Crazy. Yeah. Okay, so Still Crazy is after Ariel and then Lumiere is after that one. Um, this one is Belle. Now, I don't wear Belle a lot. It's very much a deep, like deep mauve, but it's kind of, it's not pink. It's definitely got more of the like redness to it. Um, I like this more, no. I like this quite a bit. I'm not sure where this falls for me. I think I like it, I like it better than Name Drop. Name Drop is this shade right here, which is much more pink than anything else in here. And it's definitely like in my lower tier of what's happening. Um, but I don't think I like this more than Super Bloom. I'm gonna put it there for now. Next is Jasmine, which is kind of, I always kind of compare it to the rabbit, but it's really not. It's just the only thing it has in common is that it's bright. Um, this is much more of a bright pink, and then that's definitely more purpley magenta. This is so pretty. These Disney ones don't have the stars in them, but that's fine. They have the really pretty packaging with the um, signatures on it. Yeah, I don't wear this very much. I like it more than Name Drop. I don't think I like it more than, I actually do like it more than Belle. No, I do. I wear it more than Belle too. Uh, because Belle is just a little deep on me. It's definitely nice in the fall, but yeah. And then it can go behind uh, Super Bloom for sure. I wear Super Bloom a lot. This is Scorpio Moon. This is also a Kathleen Lights color, I do believe. I'm running out of swatch space. Oh, look how close. Isn't that funny? Being that it's a Kathleen Lights color and how close it is to her Lumiere shade. Like it's very, very similar. It's just a slightly more of a purpley tone to it. Um, I like this quite a bit. Now that I know that it's the same as Lumiere practically, that's probably why. Um, so, yeah. It is a little bit deeper. What was that other color that was like Lumiere? Still crazy. Um, it's a little bit deeper, a little bit more purpley, so it does look a little bit different on the lips. I think, like, I would definitely wear Lumiere first. I, I think I would wear it with the band first. I think I like Super Bloom, too. I mean, you might be like, it's identical. Why are you even putting it down the list? But it's not. It has a little bit more purple to it. I'm going to put it behind Super Bloom, but ahead of Jasmine. Um, okay, let's do the rest of these uh, these here, and then we'll move on to whatever is in the tubes, the liquid stuff. This one is Lucky Strike. This is a velvet blur. So it's again, that like very powdery formula. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I forgot how much I like this. It's super beautiful. It's definitely got that powdery feeling, but it's not as dry as Super Bloom. Like this Super Bloom shade is actually quite a dry powdery for formula. This is a little bit more smooth and velvety. Um, I love this. Love, love, love that. That definitely ranks pretty high for me. Yeah, that definitely goes ahead of all the mauve stuff. And then we have Ariel, which was that one? I do believe. Yeah, that's Ariel. I like it more than Ariel. It's a little bit deeper. I'm gonna put that right here. And then this one is called Third Eye. This one is a matte, definitely a lot neuter. Um, it's kind of similar to Ariel, but a little bit lighter. Sometimes this gets hard. It's like, well, some of them are so similar. Where do you actually rank it? 
Um, I don't wear this one a lot, but I don't know if that's because I just forget about it or what. But I'm gonna rank it a little bit lower just because I know I don't wear it a lot. I feel like this can go after, yeah, it can go after Super Bloom. I, this one just brings me a little bit more joy, um, but it can go ahead of Scorpio Moon. Scorpio, no, no, actually, Scorpio Moon is like, no wait, that's Scorpio Moon. Yes, it can go ahead of Scorpio Moon, for sure. You guys are probably like, you're crazy. I think most of these are gonna start falling pretty far down. This one is Dilly Dally. Do you see what's happening here? It's like, I don't know what, is going on but it's like bleached on the product though um sometimes these liquid ones they they separate in weird ways like the pigment separates sometimes anyway this is called dilly dally this is a uh, ultra satin lip i've never really liked this shade very much it's sorry it's kind of okay but it's definitely more pink than most of the things i like and i don't know it's not my favorite so i'm gonna put that way down at the bottom um, this is Soda Pop. This is an ultra blotted lip. Now the ultra blotted lip formula is very interesting because it's kind of a gel and it looks kind of patchy. Like when you swatch it, can you tell? It's like kind of really patchy. But when you put it on the lips, it dries matte, but it dries as if your lips have been blotted a bunch of times. Um, so it looks like your lipstick is kind of worn away. It's a really interesting formula that I like. And I really like this color. This is a very flattering color on me, Soda Pop. This goes very high in my rankings for sure. Um, I'm gonna put it ahead of Still Crazy. I'm gonna put it ahead of Ariel. Do I like it more than Lucky Strike? I think I do. Man, it's ranking really high. That's like in third place right now. Um, this one is Alyssa. I actually really like this, but I think it's, something's been happening with this formula too. I feel like it's, you can tell down here, see that? Can you see right in here? It's like definitely separated. That happens a lot with ColourPop liquid lipstick. You can kind of see the shade. This is definitely, I wear this a lot and when I wear it, I really like it. But I think it's still more middle of the road. I like with the band more probably. Um, I'm gonna put it right here in front of Super Bloom. This one is probably in my last place. I can tell you that right off the bat. This one is called Autocorrect. I got this as a gift with purchase or like they threw it in because they were late in shipping my order and I do not like it. It, <laughs> it is super yellowy and very light and it looks so weird on me. So that one goes right in last place. This one is another ultra blotted lift. This one is in soft spot. I like this one a lot too, but I don't think it ranks for me as high as Soda Pop. You can tell this one is a lot kind of pinky or redder, whereas Soda Pop is like kind of reddy or browner. But I still like this color. It's really nice on. Do you see how like you can see the skin? I like this one quite a bit. I don't like it more than Super Bloom. Super Bloom is kind of like my measure of like, I like something more or less. Um, I think I'll like it better than Third Eye. Scorpio Moon, Jasmine. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. And then this last one is also an ultra blotted lip. This is in the shade Bitto Sunny. Um, I bought this because of the name. I just loved it. I love the idea of like sunshine. And this is a red, but it's again, that ultra blotted lip formula. So it is very red, but when it dries, it's very blotted. And it's kind of matte, but like sheer at the same time. Um, yeah, it's a really interesting formula. Pretty comfortable. I don't wear a lot of red, but I do like this one quite a bit. So I'm gonna put this still kind of middle of the pack though, just cause I don't wear a lot of red. I think I would put it after Super Bloom. Uh, which was this one, right? I think I would put it after, what was the name of this again? Soft Spot. Third Eye. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. 
All right, here are our rankings. Let's just run them down. In first place is this one, which is Uno Moss. Love, love, love that. That is a cream formula. Then we have the Ultra Satin Lip in the Rabbit and the Ultra Blotted Lip in Soda Pop. Then after that is Lucky Strike, which is a Velvet Blur. And then we have Ariel, which is a cream. And then we have Still Crazy, which is a cream luxe lipstick. Um, then there are two lippy sticks in Lumiere and with the band. After that is an ultra satin lip in the shade Alyssa. Um, the Velvet Blur in Super Bloom. Then we have the Ultra Blotted Lip in, I can never remember the name of this one, Soft Spot and Bit of Sunny. Then we have a matte, which is Third Eye. After that is Scorpio Moon, which is a very like deep rosy mauve. Then we have Jasmine from the Disney Collection. And after that one is Belle from the Disney Collection. After that is Name Drop, which is a matte. And then the last two, which this one is an Ultra Satin Lip in Dilly Dally, and this one is an um, Ultra Matte Lip in AutoCorrect. So there you go. There are all of my ColourPop lipsticks ranked. I hope that you really like this. I have a lot of other ranking with me type videos on this channel. So I'll leave some of them linked below if you want to go check that out. That's it for today. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. I'd like to see you around in uh, future videos and I hope you're having a great day. Bye guys.